Good morning, kindergartners. Welcome to Writer's Workshop. We are gonna have another big day. Okay, so we're gonna have two word families today, and then we're also gonna do some sentence writing. Okay, so first we'll do the word families. The first word family, oh, first I'm gonna put my name here. You're gonna need paper, crayons or markers, and your writing folder, okay? So I'm asking you to write at the top of your paper the word family. The first one is ig, i, like iguana, and g, like goat. You can underline it. And the first word is going to be big. Ba, like bear. I, like iguana. And g, like goat. And the next one is dig. Da, like dog. I, like iguana. And g, like goat. So you'll notice they all have the ig and they all rhyme. The next one is fig. You might have eaten those cookies called Fig Newton. The, it's like fish. I like iguana and g like goat. And then the next one is jig. So you could like dance a little jig. It's j like jar. I like iguana and g like goat. And the next one's pig. P, like pig. I, like iguana. G, like goat. And the next one's wig. So like for Halloween, you could wear a wig. It's w, like window. I, like iguana. And g, like goat. And if you wanted to do a bonus one, you could do like a twig, like a little stick, like turtle. And then the word wig, w, like window, I, like iguana, G, like goat. There's your worst first word family. I don't know why I always say worst. Okay, and then we have op. Ah, like octopus, and pa, like pig. First sound, ba, ah, like octopus, pa, like pig. The word is bop. Next word, cop, k, like cat, ah, like octopus, and puh, like pig. Next word's hop, like a bunny will hop. <sighs> like hat, ah, uh, like octopus, puh, like pig. So we have bop, cop, hop. Next one is mop. If you spill, you might have to get up mop. Mm, like mouse, ah, uh, like octopus, and puh, like pig. Next one is pop, p, like pig, ah, uh, like octopus, and p, like pig. And the next one is stop. So I'm sure you've seen this all over town. First word is, first letter, s, like socks, t, like turtle, ah, uh, like octopus, and p, like pig. And the last one is a top. It's like a a game little kids play that spins. T, like turtle, ah, uh, like octopus, and puh, like pig. So I need to see a word family with the ig and the op. But we're not finished, okay? These writer's workshop lessons are gonna be just a little bit longer, you guys, sorry. Okay, we're gonna do some sentence writing. Remember, our sentences need three things. They need to have an uppercase letter at the beginning spaces between the words and some kind of ending punctuation, so like a period, exclamation point, or question mark. All right, we're gonna use the sight words happy, big, and little for our sentences. Okay, all right, so the first sentence could be I am happy. Has to be an uppercase letter. I am a mm, like mouse and then happy. A p. And sometimes you guys the y makes the different sound so it makes the e sound so happy. So I could put a period here. 
The next sentence could say, I am big. I, uppercase, a, like apple, m, like mouse, I have a space here, and then big, b, i, like iguana, and g, like goat. And I could put an exclamation point and read it like this. I am big. Next one. <clears throat> I am, mm, we're going to write little, l, i, t, and then the l sound. Sometimes words have like a silent E and the end, you guys, that you can't hear, okay? Okay, and then I'm going to do Sam, s, a, m. So it's an uppercase to start with. And then I'm going to make my space. It z, is happy. A, p. And I can read it like this Sam is happy. Okay, and then I'm going to do one with a question mark. Okay, so I could say, I could just change this around and say, is Sam happy? Okay, so now we have a question mark. Okay, so your sentences need three things. They need to have an uppercase letter, they need to have spaces between their words, and you have to have some kind of ending punctuation. So I want to see either a period or an exclamation point if you want to read it like you're really excited. Or if you're asking a question, you can use a question mark. Use all three of these words in a sentence. So can't wait to see your work. Have a great day.